Let's go. Let's sharpen our skills on life. Don't you know that you're the truth? This can't be true. You are a one person time. You're out of reach to everyone but me. You are my king. You are a one person time. Has there been anyone as strong since Abraham Lincoln to stand on unprecedented victory and yet suddenly be removed from this world and exiled to the pages of American history? In the moment of his tragic demise, his guards were down because he was in a perceived safe space. Is it possible to be a giant, mighty and prosperous, but still be taken down by a grasshopper? At one point in time, the Israelites didn't think so. Instead of following the instructions of Moses to press forward, they were fearful and they refused to invade Canaan because they were like grasshoppers to the giants who inhabited the land of milk and honey. As legend goes, when the ancient Greeks set out to attack Troy to end the 10 year long war, the city's walls were impenetrable. The Trojans were mightier and more prosperous than the Greeks. Yet the Greeks did not fall back. They made the strong weak by appealing to their vanity. King Odysseus presented the giant Trojan hearts as a trophy to communicate that his army had surrendered. The proud Trojan king Priam allowed this gift to pass through his impenetrable gates. The soldiers who hid on the inside of the wooden hearts came out at night and opened the gates for the rest of their army to enter the city. They slaughtered the Trojans when they were unprepared, sleeping, and comfortable within the safety of their own walls. Looking back at the Old Testament, when Judah was conquered by the mighty Babylonians, King Nebuchadnezzar was vain and proud and looking to take war trophies. He requested the best bred young soldiers from the conquered territory, amongst whom included Daniel, to serve him in the palace. Nebuchadnezzar aimed to reprogram them and utilize them for his kingdom's purposes. Little did he know, Daniel, the dream interpreter and prophet, would have his hand in the leadership and the downfall of every Babylonian king until power was transferred to his people and they were allowed to return to Judah and to rebuild Solomon's temple in Jerusalem. In essence, Daniel, a slave and servant, ruled the enemy, Babylon, as shadow king. Had the Babylonians really conquered the Israelites? It is my opinion that they did not. The question arises, when you are strong and in a position of power, how do you stop the weak from ultimately taking you down? It must be crystal clear to you that the only way that the weak can take down the mighty is from the inside out. Your guards must be down. Your gates must be open. And this is when the penetration takes place and the domination reverses. 
Do not let your strength be convoluted with vanity. For this would be your Achilles heel. Do not let the Trojan horse in. Finally, I'm sure that you, as a strong leader, would like to know how do you spot the Trojan horse? And what do you do when you spot it? The Trojan horse can only strike based on its proximity to power. That is, it must get close to you in order to slay you and take power brutally or else covertly by transferring your power to itself and controlling you via puppeteering. Do not welcome the Trojan horse in. It might look like a shiny trophy. It might look like a pitiful charity case. Helping out in such a case would of course make you look and feel like a do-gooder or a hero. The Trojan horse might camouflage itself to look like you. No, a grasshopper does not look like a giant, but it can talk like a giant, express the same ideas as a giant, and flatter his ego. This is a clever form of camouflage. Although at times the Trojan horse might steer off course from the talking points by using silly words or coded words, such as hilarious, to describe something that isn't funny. Pay attention to this. Do you feel comfortable in trusting of seemingly like-minded people? Think again. The key word is seemingly. When you spot the Trojan horse, wake all the way up. Do not go to sleep. Do not alert it and burn it down. And from there, you can rule or leave with purpose, stability, and greatness. Don't you know that you're the truth? This can't be true. You are a one-person time.